In this episode, we're going to take a look at how we can improve one of the greatest games of all time. If you've been around the world of gaming for long enough, chances are you probably heard of the iconic Super Nintendo title, Super Mario World. It's one of my all-time favorite games, if not the one that initially drew me into the world of video games. A lot of games don't come close to its quality, from its art direction, gameplay, and its replay value. Nevertheless, since the Super Nintendo era, players have wondered whether we might be able to develop our own personalized versions of this game, including adding extra levels, a new story, or more interesting mechanics. And luckily enough, this is the point where players were able to figure out how to hack the game itself. Many people on the internet came up with methods in order to patch Super Mario World and other games from that era to be able to extend the life of those games. This is what's known as ROM hacking, which is the process of altering an original game to make it feel like a completely new title, while also preserving the game engine and gameplay that made it so unique. So in today's episode, we're going to take a look at how to do this. From installing our own emulator and patching the original ROM of Super Mario World with a completely new game. As well as some samples to show you what the community has worked on. And believe me, there are so many different ones that I might stream one day. By the way, if you're interested, I have a Twitch channel where I stream any classic and newer games that I've missed over the years. So be sure to follow that as well as like and subscribe if you want to see more ROM hacking and video game related tutorials. So the first step will be to obtain our emulator of choice. I selected BizHawk because I've used it for so long and I'm completely familiar with all its features. Of course I'm aware that there are plenty of different other emulators out there with similar capabilities, but I'm just going to stick with what's most convenient for me, and BizHawk has the ability to support different systems as well. So we'll go to the website and click on the links that we see here. We'll need the prerequisite installer as well as the zip file with the emulator itself. For the prerequisite installer, we'll be led to a GitHub page. Click on this link here and you'll be downloading a zip file. For the emulator, we'll go to the most recent version, BizHawk 2.7, and select Windows Binaries. Linux is also supported, but unfortunately there's no version for Mac users, so sorry about that. This will also be saved as a zip file, so now we'll have to extract them both into their respective folders, or wherever you want to move them. In this case, I just drag them to my desktop for convenience. So obviously we'll also need a copy of Super Mario World, but you know, according to the powers that be, I can't tell you exactly where to acquire one since, you know, legality issues. However, once you found it through a quick Google search, you ought to download an additional tool called ROM Hasher, which allows you to scan your ROM to verify whether it's genuine. After all, you don't want to be downloading the wrong file, right? Of course, in case you get lost, I'll provide all these links in the description below. When we have all the files that we need, we'll open the BizHawk prerequisite first, then start the installer. This basically just updates your Windows system with runtimes and DirectX updates as needed, which is quite easy because you don't have to worry about all the dependencies that go with this. So once you've done that, you can simply remove that file as well as your zip file too. We won't be needing that anymore. Next, we'll unzip our BizHawk file and extract it into the folder that we created. But now let's open up BizHawk. And check this out, if we drag Super Mario World over, it'll automatically launch. So now here comes the fun part, patching Super Mario World with another game. So to get started, we'll need a couple things first. First, we'll need the game that we want to check out. In this case, I went to the official SMW Central forums where many people have uploaded their own Super Mario World ROM hacks. And I chose this one, which sounds amazing. Return to Dinosaur Land, which of course, to get these ROM hacks, all you have to do is click SMW hacks and you can see a list of ROM hacks. And of course, you can change the filter so you can see what's been the most downloaded or what has the highest user ratings. Very flexible in terms of 
selection. But when you usually go to a post, you'll see if anything else is required, but very rarely that is the case. So let's download our ROM. They usually come in a zip file that contains what's known as a .bps file. Next, I'm gonna copy our original Super Mario World ROM in case something goes wrong and we don't lose our original copy. Following that, we're gonna download a patching tool called Floating IPS. The crux in making this all happen. Well, we're gonna run flips.exe and then we're gonna click apply patch. A window will pop up and you're gonna select the game that we just downloaded. So the dinosaurland.bps file. Next, another window will come up and you're gonna select the copied version of our Super Mario World ROM. And then one more window will pop up and it's gonna ask you to save our new ROM file. And check that out. We have a completely new ROM file called Return to Dinosaur Land. So now we can take this file and drag it into BizHawk. And check that out, a brand new Super Mario World game. As you can see, it plays like regular Super Mario World, but the levels, the world, and the aesthetic are all different. Like I said, endless possibilities for what you can expect from these ROM hacks. So I downloaded a few examples to show you why, which of course I'll probably stream in the future because some of these ROM hacks look really fun. Let's start with this one called Mario is Missing Repaired. Do you remember that old game Mario is Missing for the original Super Nintendo and how bad it was? So some guy decided to just remake it, which I can tell you is way better than that game, that's for sure. Here's one called Mario Redone, which basically takes the same game we all know and love and redraws it with a different filter. Bizarre, but it's intriguing in its own right. But hey, Hey, feel free to check out these ROM hacks and support this forum for doing some great stuff, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you want to see more ROM hacking or emulation tutorials in the future, be sure to like and subscribe. I also do video editing tutorials, so be sure to check those out as well. And if you want to see me stream some ROM hacks in general, be sure to follow my Twitch page, where I stream almost every night. I hope to see you there, and as always, rock on!